Sir, uh, my question is uh, very simple. You talk about the future, and uh, we want to ask you uh, to tell us how to think about the future and uh, which path we can follow to achieve that thinking. Yes. Which country are you from? I'm from Sudan. Sudan. Yes. yes. You know, please sit. take a seat. Well, man, we are all Indians. Sudan, Congo, we know what problems the country is going facing right now at present. Isn't it? You, one man, can make a difference. Future, what do you think about future? Okay, what you want us to think. No, I cannot make you think something. I can just show you that there is still lots of space to think and there is possibilities. That possibility, the imagination of that possibility should come inside you. You can do a lot of good things to your country once you go back. You know that? Because uh, people from here, from my hospital also, they go to operate to Sudan. And yes, the situation is really pathetic there. And uh, educated people like you make a difference in the society there. So for you, example, I cannot think for you, but for your question, I would say, for you the future is, how can you make medicines affordable and available for everyone? Don't think small. Don't think about your city. Think about your country itself. It is possible. You are in India already now. We manufacture medications. Okay. Just an investment of a small amount, you can get your own company. You can start exports. You can start imports. Everything. Many people are doing that. But they are doing it with profit. Right? You can do it in rest price. I am just talking about business. Okay. And what are they making? They are not making some uh, Amruta Valdi or something like that. They are making, which is products, that is uh, raw materials coming from China, other countries, putting all together and making a simple paracetamol. Isn't it? Yes. yes. So, creating a better pharma world for your place, it will be a future. Isn't it? Yes. Think about it. Now, you make your destinations. When you see your future, for example, what is my dream? What is my dream? Well, I started as a simple practitioner. Okay, came, studied, and I was about to go to Kerala. And uh, I was meeting up my senior doctors, gave one person a card. He said, uh, I just wanted to meet him, that's all. That was my intention. And uh, he just saw the card. There was no designation, nothing, only my degree over there. He just threw it like this and said, hey, what are you doing here, man? There are so many doctors and MD medicines over here. So you go to some place in a third tier or fourth tier place, like in a village or somewhere, where you'll get more patients and you can survive. That time I was offered around 1.5 lakh rupees. This is my own practical life experience. And uh, then what I did is I declined that offer of 1.5 lakh rupees, accepted offer of 22,500 rupees, 22,500 rupees, MD medicine, 24 bar 7 job. And I started my career in my own city. Okay. This, why I started that with a future with something I saw coming into the future. I had kept a destination and it is not yet reached for me because I started working under some four MD physicians, became a consultant, single person, started another hospital. That new hospital went over there, was a foundation stone, then there were big but still it is not mine. Then moved forward, opened my own hospital, still not satisfied. I want to make it bigger Want want to put a cat lab, want to put a radio th radiotherapy unit, want to start a mother and child unit. Everything is in pipeline now. So there is a destination. That time with 22,500 rupees, can anybody imagine to start a 150 crore rupees project? No. It is possible. Here is the possibility alive. I did it. Like me, many people have done it. Right? Guru Bhai Ambani, for God's sake, one of the richest men, <laughs> who divided some lakhs and thousands of crores among his both sons. What was he? A tea vendor. Am I right, sir? Isn't it? Right? He is not uh, 
uh, who um, Jamshedji Data, who is coming from a rich family royal background. No, he was simple, but he can buy two, three Tatas, isn't it? So, everything is possible. I am a simple man standing here giving you the possibility of everything can come true only if you work and only if you have a vision. That vision should be there and then you see your step, take a step forward, you will reach there. The answer for you is that. So, what is your vision? You need to see. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, I want to ask uh, how people are living very less life uh, in this time. Give me some main cause. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, earlier people used to live yes. 100 years, 110 years. Before that, as per our uh, Granthas and all, people used to live for thousands of years. And uh, now, in, okay, in Muslims, we call it as Muhammadan era. And now, this present era, 80 to 70 is our lifespan. It's the question should be, why people are living less? No, why people are dying fast? <laughs> okay. How many people over here sitting? Medical sciences have advanced, but still we live less as per your statement, right? How, except for COVID now, because that was a pandemic, forget it. Uh, now, how many people are dying out of infections, percentage-wise? Diseases, which is killing people. Less when compared to 20, 30 years ago. Maximum deaths are because of cancers and cardiac arrests, cerebrovascular accidents, strokes. These are, these are the ma ma major causes, road traffic accidents. That is why people are dying. That is not living that much. All right, one. Second, why? Why are we so big? Okay, we have made very good antibiotics. That is why we are winning over the infections. Okay, our lifestyle has improved. That is why we are dying in road traffic accidents. Earlier people used to walk, they never used to die. So, third, fourth people thing is that why is our lifespan reduced so, so small? Reason is again, somewhere it is science only. Because hybridization, and adulteration of our own nutrition. We are not eating much of organic food. That is what I feel. Example, sir, we remember our, uh, you know, the, the cream that we used to get when we were young. We used to eat it like that only. It was tasty. How many people can eat milk over the cream now? Raw like that only. Ah, here you can eat. Your Andhra cows are very nice. <laughs> In Karnataka, you cannot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, buffaloes and cows are here. Nice, hefty. There, no. There, already the milk has lost its quality. I'm just telling you one example. The rice, polished, everything looks beautiful. But where is the nutrition? All vanished. Rice bowl of India, Andhra. Right? So, it's our food. The problem is in our food, our environment. The the situation that we are living in, power, the pollution, our technology, our progress itself is our doom. That is our problem. That is why we are not living so, so much as you want to expect to live. Is what I feel. Do you feel anything different? Can it is possible to treat this? Well, control pollution, you treat that. Okay. Develop healthy habits, you treat your own body itself, building your own stamina. Okay, how many people over here do physical exercises every day? Very less. Very less. Only if you do that, you will have a good lung capacity, you will have a good body, a healthy body and a healthy mind. So, start exercising. <laughs> okay. Okay, who is the father of medicine? Which country he belong to? <laughs> yeah, Greece, Greece. Yes. Who is the father of surgery?
No? Sushruta, yes. Where did I hear from? Good. He is? He is from India. Yes, sir. Thank God at least one person remembers an Indian. <laughs> Good. Sushruta. Surgery. Eye on a fee, eye of an eagle. Fingers like ladies. Heart of a lion. That is the actual, you know, the, the qualities of a surgeon. Eye of an eagle. He has to be very precise while seeing, very delicate while cutting. And heart of a lion, he should be able to see a pool of blood, cut through bones and not feel anything. So that is Sushuta. And he belongs to us, isn't it? You are proud to say that he belongs, he is an Indian. So yes, when you go into an international committee or a conference, Hippocrates created medicine. They are saying that, hey, he is Hippocratic. They are not giving you a compliment. <laughs> he, because he knows how to twist his statements. That's why he is called Hippocrates. Sushuta, he is always respected. Right? Yes. Which is the oldest science in medicine? Ayurveda. Ayurveda. Yeah. Yes? Yunani. Yunani Isn't it? Why are we not developing that? We are not developing that. Still the dosages are not perfect. Isn't it? Yeah, coming back to viruses. What is the treatment for viruses? Common cold you want to decrease. Earlier they used to say, you know, you honey, little bit, warm water, cough subsides, cold goes. It works. Isn't it? Home remedies. And we with so much of technology, we still cannot treat viruses. Again, coming back to my previous topic, that deadly virus, deadly diseases are viruses. They never kill us, but make us kill ourselves. So, future for you, for example. Most anesthetics, you know, earlier days when you go to the African history and all, if you go back and very back furthermore, even zombies are there. Yes, they used to use certain drugs to make person come under their control. So they never used to have any. The basic instincts were suppressed. There were certain drugs at that time. Now also we have it. We use it in anesthesia. Right? We can just paralyze a person. He'll just be looking over there. He'll be understanding everything. Vecronium, for example. Atracurium, example. Okay. Scolin, example. Paralyze the patient. He'll uh, be conscious of everything else, but unable to move. The ideas came from Africa, right? So the thing is that idea and future, that is what it is. You have a vision, you walk forward. That's what I wanted to know. So you are biomedical, right? Technology, technology. What technology are you imagining then? You want to make an artificial heart or you want to make an artificial hand or you know spectacles or something put <laughs> anything is possible. Heart? Tell. Me. Will you give the mic here. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Uh, yeah. Sir, I want to develop uh, from the childhood. I suffered from eyesight. Uh, I want to develop some things which can uh, today not everyone having eyes problem. I want to develop something which can require re require these things. You will repair these things. There is LASIK surgery already there, no? No, sir. Some mm. things specs. Everyone is wearing specs. Yeah, even I am wearing that. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, Normal everyone is wearing specs. Why this problem is coming? Why this uh, happens? Everyone, everyone is facing these problems. Yeah, that is again because of our technology. Come on, you are, these days it is not like earlier. When we used to study, it was less competition. Now you kids need to face more competition. You are studying in inadequate light, in inadequate, up, in improper environment, studying from screens like this. All right. And these all add on. Along with that, carrot, your mother puts you carrot, I don't like carrot. <laughs> <laughs> that is also add-on. We started questioning our elders. 
that is also an add on but some uh, sometimes it uh, will be uh, genetic defect also genetic defects yes that time the child is uh, blind yes, so we want to make the child see again well that's an idea yes, and i could say what if the child is blind for what reason maldevelopment agenesis or that time you need to know now for example you want to do this right yes. so how will you take your first step first study the brain the eye eye itself is this big book don't get afraid of its size okay <laughs> then the brain how it works what is the visual area which is the cognitive area how the impulses are transferred how many colors can we see actually how what is the capacity of our brain we are not even using 1% of it yes, sir. that everybody knows that yes, isn't it so you have a vision so you need to work towards it in your free time just study at one point of time you will crack it even if you are not you will pass on the rest of the idea to the others